If you accidentally deleted any text messages, individual text messages, or entire message conversations on your iPhone, there is a way to get them back. Actually, there's three different things that I've had some success with in the past. So I wanna make this video to show you exactly how to recover deleted text messages on your iPhone. Now, this one is the most common option and I'll show you how to do it, but you may wanna try the other options and watch this full video before you implement any one of them. But this one is under your settings. And if you have iCloud backup enabled on your phone, that means basically your phone every once in a while when it's plugged into power is backing up everything, including messages. So then if a message got deleted after the fact, you could recover it. Now, to find that, just go over here to your name right on top. And right here, it says iCloud. Go to this option. And if iCloud backup is turned on, you'll see it over here. It says turned on. So you could go there. And as long as this is turned on, this has been backing up your iPhone, right? So you don't have to press backup now because that won't help us at this point. But if this is activated, you can get your data back. Now, I should warn you, the only way to get your data back from a previous backup is to reset your phone and erase everything. So if you don't wanna do that, please watch the other options and hopefully those could solve your problem so you don't have to implement this. But if you want to implement this, this is how you do this. Go back to the settings and on the home page of settings, you could go to the general tab here and then there's a reset option on the bottom of the page over here. So it says reset iPhone. Now, if you do this though and you press erase all content and settings. Yours may look a little different. I'm on iOS 15 here. But if you press this, it will delete your phone. But when it restarts, it's going to say recover from a data backup, an iCloud backup. And you could choose a previous date, like from last week or last month, using this option. Now, the next two options require a computer. So let me plug in my phone here to a computer and I'll show you those. There's an app on your computer, it used to be called iTunes, but now it's just called Music. And if your phone is plugged in, it will show here under the devices. Now I'm physically plugged into my computer with the charging cable here. And with this, I could click on sync settings over here and it's gonna pull up my iPhone on this side. And I could go ahead and press restore from a backup if I have one available. So some people back up their phone to their computer, Mac or PC, using an application like this, so they're able to use this option. Now, the third option I've had luck with is using a third-party software, and actually two different ones that have showed me success before. And I, I found them years ago because I accidentally deleted like a SD card like this, and I was able to recover files from a deleted memory card. So it kind of works the same way with your iPhone, for example. So let me show you those. Now I have both of these installed on my Mac. They're available for PC too. One is called Dr. Phone, and I'll put a link in the description. This is from a company called Wondershare. And this one is called Disk Drill. It's from a company called Clever Files. And with Disk Drill, again, there's Mac and Windows available. And just to show you here, Dr. Phone, for example, I looked at the traffic of the website just to get an idea. You can see 21 million people are visiting this website every single month, so it's very reputable. It's actually no, number 3,500 biggest website in the US and 3,676 in the world. Now, I wanted to point this out because I've seen random websites that promise this, but that's why I wanted to kind of point out these bigger reputable companies that have millions of visitors per month to their platform. So let me show you here. I have Dr. Phone open here, and with Dr. Phone, I just plugged in my phone and it said recover from an iOS device and it has my phone detected here as an iPhone 12 Pro and it says deleted files, able to recover deleted files, I wanna turn this on and you could check on whatever you want but in this case I just care about messages. So I'm gonna turn off everything else over here so I only care about messages and attachments but there are other things like you know WhatsApp, messages, photos and things like that and I'll do a start a scan over here and while that's scanning, I'll just show you this other one. So this one, Disk Drill, has an option here. It says iPhones and iPads. You could select that, choose your iPhone over here, and then search for lost data with this option as well. Now, I don't want to use them both at the same time, so I'm not going to scan this one just yet. I'll let the other one scan and show you what I found. Now, this may take a little while, especially if you have a lot of information on your iPhone or iPad. So I'm gonna let the scan finish and show you the recovery stage. And the scan is complete. In the case of Dr. Phone here, it did not find any messages that I've recently deleted 
based on what I selected. But if it does find it, it will appear over here under your iPhone and you'll see the messages that it has recovered. So it's not guaranteed that it's gonna find something, but if it does, it will appear over here. And remember, it's just not messages and attachments, but those are the deleted file types that it could recover. Now, if it did not find it on the iOS device though, you still could recover it from your backup files and from the iCloud sync over here. So you could log in and try to find it that way. Again, this is all through Dr. Phone. You could also try very similar things with disk drill that I mentioned previously. I hope you found this useful and one of these solved your problem. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.